Well, good morning everyone and welcome to another travel day. It is a Florida travel day. I know a lot of you will be surprised by that, but we are off uh, to Florida. We're gonna bring you along with, uh, with us. It was gonna be a bit of a surprise for all the subscribers as well. Uh, so that's where we're heading to. We're on the motorway now. It's 20 past six in the morning. And uh, we're flying with Virgin today from Manchester Terminal 2. Don't fly until quarter past 11, but we have seen a lot of reports of big queues, massive waits yesterday, so we are coming four hours early just to make sure. Also, uh, we are flying economy light, so this is the cheapest option uh, to fly to Florida, especially with Virgin. This is the cheapest ticket you can get. It is hand luggage only. So we are doing it on a bit of a budget this trip, a bit of a budget flight wise as well. So you get to see exactly what it's like flying with just hand luggage um, all the way to Florida. Uh, other than that, we will catch you at the airport and pick up the rest there. We've got a bit of a drive left to go, about 40 minutes or so till we get to Manchester. But yeah, I'm excited. You all right there, Laura? Yeah, I'm excited. Yeah. Can't wait to go. I'm really, really excited. So we have reached Manchester Terminal 2. Now, if you are new to the channel, I am Andrew, this is Laura. Uh, we do actually live in Tenerife, but we are massive Florida fans. We've been recently uh, in November, December. We vlogged that whole trip. I'll leave the link to that if you want to see that whole trip uh, on the channel. This is our latest visit. Uh, very, very excited. As I said, it's more of like a budgeted trip, a little bit more than the last one. We're going to try and take it a little bit more easy. Yeah, uh, it. yeah it's not looking too bad here. The drop off is busy, but it's not as bad as what the, the images I saw yesterday uh, so far. But very excited. Let's uh, head on in and get ourselves through and done, and then we can relax and chat with you a little bit more about the plans we've got coming up. So we're just queuing up at the check-in desk. Unfortunately, I was selected for an additional check, which means I couldn't get my boarding pass, which means even though if we're flying with hand luggage, we've got to still wait in this check-in queue to get whatever check they need to check me for. I tried to do the fly ready online, didn't work as well, so do have everything printed out ready. Uh, the lady did just check all of our printouts, our negative test, our vaccine certificates, etc. So I do recommend just printing it all off. Uh, but yeah, I've been still going to stand in this line, even though I've got no bags to drop off, which is slightly annoying. Now, what's not annoying is our new brevity backpack, which is absolutely perfect for our travel day. Uh, they did send us this backpack, and I am absolutely made up with it. It does just slot on the trolley so easy, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. Just pulling it along like that really does make life so much easier. Uh, so that's got all our camera equipment in, the drone, absolutely everything in there. Um, so big big thank you to them if you are interested in one there is a night strider discount on this as well and which i'll leave in the description so uh, do give them a check out but yeah lifetime guarantee as well made up with that perfect for florida for everything that we need because you've got all your squares down there and all your weird all your little shaped bits stuff are all in there the top where the safe yeah i've got a nice little pin on the front there as well with a little rspb pin no, it's I absolutely love it. So big thank you to them. And I will leave the link in the description. You can see now why we've come four hours early. This is quite a slow moving line. What's a shame is when you do go economy light, this option with no bags, there's no guarantee that you don't have to wait in this queue. Yeah, because I thought we would just be able to sail straight through to security, boarding passes and done. Um, but unfortunately, I've been selected for this. Laura's got hers, but for me, I've got to wait in this, which is a bit of a shame. That's something to bear in mind. Don't expect if you go economy light with just hand luggage that you can just skip this bit. You can't, but it is very busy here in Manchester. It is May. Uh, if you're watching this uh, after a few months it's been out, this is May time. And uh, it is extremely busy. We haven't even looked at security yet, which is where the problem seems to be. And I think that's going to be even longer. Yeah, so... Fingers crossed, I think we've got about another probably 20 minutes in this line, I think. And then we'll uh, start to hit security, we'll see what's going on up there. 
So the current rules are to enter uh, America or Florida, you do need to have a negative test within 24 hours before, which we went and got yesterday uh, with the Randox. You can get a discount on the Randox uh, still uh, with the fly by an air code, which is what we used. Yeah. Uh, you get a fiver off. Uh, then you need to be fully vaccinated. So we've got our vaccination certificates in there as well. Also, make sure you fill in online before the uh, US citizen. Uh, it's a little checkbox to certify that you are fully vaccinated. If you haven't, you have to fill it in in the line. I've seen quite a few people filling it in on paper. You can just do it on the Virgin website. It's dead easy. It's just a couple of tick boxes and then you write your name in the box. Uh, but you can, I wouldn't, I'm trying to avoid doing it on paper like this. Okay, so check-in all done. We did ask about an upgrade. It was 2 dollars each for a premium, which is just a bit too much. Um, and it was £100 each for extra legroom, but we're okay for now. Now this is where the fun's going to begin. This is the security line. This is going to be fun. I did try and buy Fast Track just for information, and it was unavailable. They've stopped selling Fast Track at the moment. I think due to the problems they're having. Okay, so we do like to do our travel day in stages. That's stage two complete. Yeah. Just to give you an idea of perspective of time, it's now an, about an hour and 20 minutes since we got to the airport. Uh, so it took an hour and 20 to get through, check in, through security there. Nothing was stopped. We make sure everything was out. If you follow those rules, get all your electric separate, you will go through no problem. Um, but yeah, I'm getting a bit excited now. I can see the Virgin plane. I'm gonna go up and have a coffee. But now that stage two is complete. We're in, we can relax a little bit. It's, uh, it's a nice day out on the airport as well. So we are big Starbucks fans, but unfortunately there is no Starbucks in Terminal 2. So it's gonna be a uh, Costa for us. I think a couple of caramel lattes. Might have a little ham and cheese toasty maybe. We made it to Costa, we've got our caramel lattes, I've got a little shortbread, I've gone for a little sausage baguette. Well, roll. There was a uh, fun with the muffins. I asked her what muffin was the Jubilee muffin. She didn't know what flavour it was. I asked for it, thinking it was going to be plain. Then she asked the lady, another lady and they were like, oh, it's full of raspberry in the middle. So I cancelled it. But yeah, it'd be good if they labelled what flavour the muffins were. <laughs> uh, so we're going to enjoy this, then we'll have a little wander around, see what's going on. We've got a little bit of time to kill. There's quite a few flights going off before us, if you look up at the board. Uh, we are quite low down on the list. At 11.10. Plenty going before. So, I'm going to ask you all now, including you, Laura, what is your airport travel day treat? What do you treat yourself to on travel day, if anything? If you treat yourself, what do you normally have? Is it a Costa? Is it a Burger King? Is it a specific bag of sweets from WH Smith's? What is it? Um, if I see something nice in um, whatever the price is, what's it called? Duty free. Duty free? Yeah, I'll always have a look at the makeup because it's a makeup that I wouldn't normally buy but looks nice. I'll buy it. Thinking like tra traditions. I mean, a coffee's always tradition for us. If there was a Starbucks, we'd be on it. But yeah. Be interesting, we'll see what goes on in the comments. Drop it down below. What is your travel day tradition that you have to have? Is it most of them are gonna say pints, I think? Yeah. A little beer. Or well, you hold the sauce and every face pints on the film. Yeah. We're gonna finish up here and wander on through. If you haven't seen the new the new terminal at, at uh, Terminal 2 at Manchester, big, big changes. And a lot of it is more sit-down dining now. Yeah. Like your San Carlo and all that stuff. I'm more of a Burger King guy, but um, I will show you all of that other section. We'll have a little wander around, won't we? We've got plenty of time to kill. We just looked at the board. There's actually four flights to Tenerife to uh, Orlando this morning. Four, nearly said Tenerife. Um, there's two Virgins, an Aer Lingus, and there is a Tui going to Orlando, Melbourne as well. So there's a lot of people on their way to Florida this morning.
well that costa did to be fair very much hit the spot lovely uh, caramel what was it caramel shortbread yeah. you can wander through duty free hi yeah you okay yes, We've just bumped into Charlotte in the Duty Free. You've been watching the vlogs and you're off to Florida for the first yeah, time. First, first time, first to America. Yeah. That's going to be completely new for you then. You excited? Very. Yeah. Where are you staying? Um, just on international drive. Yeah. Okay. So you're going to be in the middle of it. You're doing Disney? Doing Disney, Universal, doing Discovery Cove. Oh, amazing. So two weeks, is it? Two weeks. Fantastic. And who are you flying with? Because there's four flights today. Um, you're on Aer Lingus. Yeah. They were, we looked, they were quite cheap. Yeah. As long as it gets us from A to B. Oh, yeah. you'll be there. Yeah. You'll be there. Have an amazing time. So Lovely to see you. So we have bumped into, I think, about five lovely subscribers. If any of you are watching, thanks so much for saying hello. We had people in security and everything, a few people off to Tenerife. Uh, one gentleman did come over and said, I've just gone and bought a similar pair to your glasses in the Duty Free. So I just thought I'd show you what sort of prices they are for my uh, Oakley sunglasses. So these are the prism lenses. So you can get them for £85. That's not bad at all, really. Um, now mine are the prism polarised, but just the prism lenses itself are really, really good. My first pair were just prism like this. So you can get them for about £100 or so. I'm not sponsored by Oakley. I wish I was. Um, but everyone always asks about my sunglasses. And honestly, if you're looking for a pair, try and get these prism lenses that are specific to Oakley are amazing. Aren't they, Laura? You put them on. Yeah, you love them. Massive yeah. yeah, if anyone's got a pair as well in the comments, let me know your thoughts on them. A lot of people have been and got some since I since I started wearing them, but mine are very similar to these sort of. And you, so you can get a nice pair for hundred pounds. Look after them, and they will last you. That's my sort of colour there. Yeah, they so go prism polarised. How much are they? One hundred forty-two. One hundred and forty-two. So really not bad at all. They've come down in price over the years. But if you look after them properly, clean them when you've worn them, they will last you a long time. But you can see this prism technology, if you read up on it, is absolutely amazing. And there's all different ones. You can have golf specific ones if you're a cyclist and things. Uh, all the different road cycle glasses. Just thought I'd mention that. But yeah, if you uh, came over and said hello to us, uh, thank you very much. So in this new section of the airport, as you can see, very busy. You've got Wagamamas upstairs. You've got... Uh, seven brothers there's also a san carlo up there so they've gone more for the sort of fine dining sit down whereas for me i couldn't imagine sitting down having a fancy meal when you're in the airport no. you've got a jd sports here with all your all your usual in the jd but it is very busy compared to last time we flew through here last time we flew through here laura you could have whatever seat you wanted couldn't you very very busy today so I keep wandering through, see like bar and dining, it's all a lot more upmarket now. No more quick McDonald's. So I'm gonna try some of these chewed strawberry juicy bites with their, ooh, they've got like liquid in the middle. They do an apple flavor as well. Give them a whale, three quid. Best be nice for that. So if you are new to the channel, uh, Laura does have a gluten allergy, so we're going to pick up some form of like gluten-free little dinner in here. The, we have got a gluten-free meal on the plane, but sometimes, um, you know, it's not the best. Or we have had it before where they've completely forgot to bring on the gluten-free meal. So Laura didn't eat. So we always do try and get like a backup sandwich and things first, which is what Laura's looking for. Boots normally a bit better than WH Smith's, but this uh, camera at the moment has only got WH Smith's in. No boots. So I don't even know if there is any... Any gluten-free Laura yet? Not yet. Plenty of vegan. Yes, Loads yes. of vegan. But struggling for a bit of gluten-free right now. But to give you an idea, if you are travelling through Manchester Terminal 2, of the sort of more quicker things they have, they have got a burrito bar, they've got a pret -a manga down here, and there is a shakes thing further down as well. You've got Pot Kettle Black behind us as well. Struggling to find anything gluten-free though. We are missing the boots in here. W. H. Smith just isn't quite the same. Uh, we had to pick up some bits because we're only doing hand luggage. We did have to buy a few little bits of shampoo and things like that um, in there, but not quite as good as boots. See if there's anything preta manga. Let's have a little look at these sandwiches here. But as you can see, they have gone a lot more upmarket, upscale now uh, with this terminal. Let's have a quick look, see what they've got. For any of you, we do get a lot of people viewing and asking and commenting. Laura gets messages all the time 
um, about the gluten allergy so it's always good to find out for you guys but it doesn't look great in here either does it? It's insane. It's a lot of vegan. So I'm sure a lot of you will be wondering about price. What did we pay for this flight? So um, when we put it, on, I always do it all through Skyscanner. A lot of the time, the Aer Lingus flights were coming up the cheapest, but when you go through and add on the stuff that you need with Aer Lingus, it was coming out slightly more expensive or the same as Virgin. Uh, we've paid 450 pounds each return for this flight. That's straight up budget, no bags, no anything. Uh, we did use a few little air miles to knock about £100 off that me and Laura had built up. Um, so about £450 each, that's no bags. However, you, did, you may have noticed we have come with two bags each. We've got our wheelie hand luggage and rucksacks as well. So you can bring a little bit, you do get a little bit. It's not like, you know, you can only walk on with a tiny bag. And if you organise with your makeup and your lotions and your potions like I am, yeah, it's a breeze because the 100ml bottles I find are too big for me. Yeah. But... 30 mil bottles of spot on so I can get more in. Yeah, if you you just have to sort of think about it a little more, a little bit more. We've brought very, very little just because we know we're going to buy bits and bobs in the outlets there as well. But it, hopefully it is going to show you that you can do it on those budget flights and how easier it's going to be with just hang, hand luggage in theory. We're hoping at the other end, not waiting for bags, etc., to come off the carousel is going to make things a lot quicker for us. But we'll we'll find out. It could all backfire. I mean, so far it hasn't quite gone to plan because I still had to queue up at check-in. If we could have avoided that and come straight through security, would have been check number one. But hopefully we're going to be able to show you. If you are thinking about it, if you are on a tighter budget, uh, or you don't want to be having loads of luggage with you, hopefully this will show whether it's a feasible option or not. Especially if just a couple or, you know... Just a couple, yeah, we don't need loads. We know we're going to buy stuff there cheap in the outlets anyway. Yeah. Um, so we've come very, very basic. And at this time of year in May, it's very, very hot anyway. So we're going out in shorts in the day, out in shorts in the night, out in t-shirts in the night. You don't need jumpers and jeans and things so much yeah. this time of year. I'll try to keep showing what I'm wearing because yeah. I'll be wearing a lot of different stuff, but I'll keep yeah. trying to show what I'm and wearing. And there's no sort of big fashion show we're not going to any fancy restaurants it's gonna be pretty much shorts and t-shirts everywhere we go so uh, fingers crossed we'll we will see we will find out if this is gonna be a feasible option if you have done this before with economy light just hand luggage let me know in the comments how did you find it but hopefully fingers crossed the likes of when we get the other end we're just gonna be able to skip everyone that's waiting for their bags to come off and just go straight through straight through to the car rental desk we have booked a car again i booked it through virgin atlantic uh, if you book it through them with alamo you do get air miles and you get a little bit of a discount uh, but you can you can bank more air miles for future flights if you've got a flying club uh, membership which is free you just put in your flying club number and they will add the air miles onto your account so we booked a, a basic budget car with alamo with the full insurance which we'll be picking up the other end as well uh, but yeah, I'm just going to wait for our gate to call. In about got, got about half an hour left, but it's been alright, just chilling. Just chilling, it was hectic getting through. I'd have been quite stressed if we'd have come at normal time, seeing that security queue. Because it's only getting bigger and bigger whilst we were yeah, in it. Yeah, it was getting longer and longer. By the time we got to the end, it was really, really long. So I don't mind sitting here chilling. A little bit of a view of the planes watching all the Jet 2 staff hide under the Jet 2 plane from the rain. Yeah. But yeah, we will uh, catch you when we're uh, boarding time. Oh, this is the bit that confused me. I've been selected for an extra check, which does happen on flights to America. It shows on your boarding pass with this. So this is the extra check symbol, the SSSS. Okay, so I'm going to be checked when I go and try and board the plane. So why would I? Why could I still not get that boarding pass with that check on online? Why did they make me queue up just to get that printed off? And I've got to get the check when I get on the plane anyway. It's not even a check at the desk. That's what I don't it's understand crazy. is why they couldn't still give me that online and I'm just going to be checked at the gate. There was no need for me to queue. I'll put extra pressure on the, on the checking desks just for the lady to print that off for me. 
that's what just didn't make sense to me. But yes, if you are going to America or anywhere uh, and you get this on your boarding pass, it means you're gonna have an extra security check at the gate. So they will check your bag. I think they swab it as well for drugs and things. Yeah. It's completely random. So don't feel like you're being picked on. I think they're just checking I'm an annual pass holder. I think. Oh my God. So I think the they will, make sure that's well, as soon as I show my annual pass, they'll just wave me yeah. on through. Uh, yeah, okay. Especially with it being a preferred annual pass. But for you, I mean, you've not got one, so mm. you're not, you know, your annual pass isn't quite as good. So once I've, uh, <laughs> I am of course joking, um, but yeah, if you do see that, just know that you're gonna try and get to the gate a little bit earlier because you're gonna have a five minute quick check and you know, they'll go through your, your hand, hand luggage basically. Well, we're full of little tips and ideas for you today. What's the other little thing that you've just gone and done, Laura, that's a good idea for people? Refill the water bottle. Refill the water bottle. So she got one of those Amazon ones where they roll yeah. up and they're like, oh, um, great for the theme parks as well as well. That's this one. Got them for. Yeah. Got one as well, but you didn't bring I didn't bring mine, but these um, these are from Amazon. I think they were about seven pounds, but they roll up and they like stretch over, keep them all nice and folded in your bag. You can click it on. Yeah. And it's got a nice little lid and a nice little fasten so it doesn't come undone or anything. So Laura's just filled that up for the plane, so she's not relying on the air hostesses and all that for water. It's cold, it's yeah, it's cold. just there. Uh, it's a proper fountain, isn't it, for drinking yeah, so water? Cold, cold water. Yeah. So, so good idea bottles. for the parks then as well. Uh, not sponsored or anything. We did show them last time we did our trip as well. They're just a handy thing to have. A for the plane if you don't want to buy expensive W H Smiths water, and also for the parks and things There's for the day. A bottle of water in the park will set you back near five dollars. Oh yeah, it's near on five dollars for water. Yeah. With them, fill them up at the fountain. Then if you're going on a ride, just empty them out into the bushes, roll them back up again, and they don't weigh anything either. Yeah. So they're all handy. Other one. I don't know whether they still sell that one on Amazon. Probably different ones now, but you'll find very similar, similar ones. ones. We've had them a couple of years now. Yeah. We're just waiting for our um, gate to come up. It's just come up now. A six. Here we go. We're off. Well, hey. So this is the new boarding area. This is part of the new terminal, Terminal 2. They are investing a billion pounds into Manchester at the moment. Uh, we're at gate A6 and outside gate A6, Laura, you'll be pleased to know, seems to be one of the new Virgin aircraft. It does look like it could be the uh, this nice new one here. Let me give you a peek through the window. It looks like we're going to be on uh, the A350-1000. Lady, Lady Emmeline. And this looks a lovely aircraft. When we checked in, they did say your cabin is very quiet where you're sitting. So that should be nice. This is looking a nice new aircraft, this one. The last one we flew on wasn't as new as this one. Very nice. So we have been very lucky. This is one of Virgin's newest planes. This is its third or fourth trip. Yeah. This is brand, brand new. Very lucky to be flying on this today. Very lucky. It does look stunning. The new, the way they build the new, it's so streamlined now. Even just looking at them, you can see the, the streamlineness of them. Yeah. Yeah, the uh, air hostess has just been saying, brand new -y. So I just had my extra check. If you're wondering what the extra check is, it's literally just a drug swab. So they swab your ankles, your hands, um, your bag, your you know tablets, things like that. And then just pop it in the scanner and after that you're done. They're very quick and efficient with it. Wasn't too big of a delay, was it Laura? Two minutes. Two minutes and the man was really nice, said he's gonna subscribe. <laughs> he saw all the equipment and uh, wondered what we did. But we're nearly there, we're nearly on the plane, Laura. Brand new plane as well. Brand new 
excited. seats this is a brand new plane it looks absolutely lovely comes with your blanket as well your little pillow but I'm loving how new the seats are look at that with your USB charger on and everything here charge points nice isn't it Laura very nice yep we are still gonna sanitize our area so you do get a pack to uh, obviously keep your seat nice and clean, bit of hand sanitizer and things in there. One thing to mention, they did recently change the rules so we don't have to wear a mask anymore. Last time we flew in November, you had to wear a mask the whole flight. This this time, uh, Virgin have changed the rules, so no mask, which is nice, but I would recommend using this, cleaning everything down and uh, make sure all your surfaces are nice and clean. Really good news now. I'm getting excited now. Eight hour, five minute flight. Brand new plane. Eight hour, five minute flight. Might be in Universal by, uh, by this afternoon. I know, won't we? We're on Velocity Coaster later. Thank you for flying with us today. You're no doubt keen to lose yourself in our dazzling world of entertainment. But first, we're going to show you a safety film, and we'd like you to give it your full attention.
So, just a quick little update. Takeoff was one of the smoothest takeoffs I've ever had, despite all the rain. Uh, it was hard to film through the window with all the rain on. Uh, we have, because the, the cabin's so empty, we've moved back. There was a few kids in front of us, so we've just moved back to a bit of a quieter area. Um, and now I'm gonna check out what we've got on the uh, Magic Touch screen. Uh, I am gonna connect, hopefully, to the Wi-Fi as well. Uh, yes, we're on a you know budget flight, but for me, um, I have to keep on with my work emails, etc. So I will be purchasing the Wi-Fi. Uh, obviously, you really don't have to. It is a little bit expensive for what it is, but for me, I can do my work emails for the next eight hours. Um, so we'll be doing that as well. I'll let you know how that goes. We're going to check out what is on uh, the, uh, the screen, TV-wise. What are you watching already, Laura? I'm watching Ghostbusters, the new one. Laura's watching the new There's Ghostbusters. So much more going on. on yes. This. Yeah, tons of brand new films and everything. The, uh, the screen's very responsive, very clear as well. You could probably see me in most of the, yeah. the footage because it's like a mirror. Uh, it is really nice playing this. Very lucky. Love how quiet it is as well. We've got a seat in the middle to ourselves as well for all our junk. Um, yeah, I'm going to check out what I'll show you what we've got on here. I've seen one thing I want to watch to get me in the mood, and that is Harry Potter. And it's the first one, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Favourite. <laughs> now this has got to be my favourite part of the flight. It is the cameras on board. This is the live view of what we've got below us. Um, unfortunately, I didn't do it for takeoff, but how cool is this? I wonder if we can look at that. Full view, that's exactly, and I'm sat right here. And that's the view we've got. Absolutely amazing, that is. I wonder if we can change the view and see if we can do it. Oh, oh, what view is this? This is our forward view. So this is underneath the plane, heading straight forward. Got the tail view that's just tail view and forward view but really cool that is lovely lovely i think i'll just watch this for the next seven hours i think <laughs> really cool feature here we go then we've got laura's gluten free what have you got laura moroccan fritters Oh, I tell you what, you'd like that. if there was smell of vision they smell lovely. Yeah, you'd like that. That smells um, almost like sort of Lebanese style, yeah, like is. a little bit of spice yeah. there. Yeah. That, to be fair, everyone, that really does smell nice. Let's have a look, so we'll open it up. We have got our extra little table here so we can showcase everything. Oh, yeah. Do you know what? Now I'm really smelling them. Oh, yeah. They smell like what do you call them? The things I like no, uh, falafels. That's what you are. Oh yeah, yeah. that smells yeah. delicious. I feel like I'm in either Havana's or um, Zocco's in Tenerife. Their restaurants in Tenerife that are uh, Lebanese. Soft roll and what's your dessert? A little chocolate. Tell you what, mine better be as good as yours, otherwise I'm ordering gluten-free next time. <laughs> Laura's just done a happy dance with the food, is yeah. it nice? It's really good, it tastes similar um, like to curry and stuff. So it's a big curry flavour? Yeah, really nice. Lucky you, I'm waiting, I'm waiting for mine. No, that's what you get. Better be good. So babe, what have you got? I've got a chicken bacon in white wine sauce with peas, carrots and cheese mash. That sounds amazing. It does sound pretty good. Let's have a look. Let us know. Looks alright. Looks alright. It doesn't look phenomenal, but it smells nice. It smells nice. And that's your 
all kinds of peas as well, isn't it? Yeah. And then, let's see what we've got in our tray. We've got sea salt chocolate pudding, similar to yours. Oh, yeah. Back a lot on the, the extras. Really cut back. But then we, we flew in November and was even more in COVID, and you got a lot more. Yeah. I'm not complaining because personally, I found if I eat too much on the planes, I'm really stodgy afterwards. Yeah. If we're going to be up till late, I don't want to be. I don't know. I'll let you know how it is. It doesn't look amazing, but it looks alright. Probably as long as it tastes good. So, a bit of a progress report. Flight is going all smoothly. Me and Laura did take a little bit of a nap. Um, I did manage to get on the Wi-Fi. It was £20 for the whole flight. So I have been doing emails, replying to YouTube comments, etc. Uh, and now I've got about two hours left. I'm just going to have a little bit of a refresh. That's the good thing about having the hand luggage. I'm going to change into my shorts. I'm going to go and do my teeth, clean my teeth. And I'm also going to have a little shave as well. Why not? I've got it all here. Toilets are really quiet. And then I'll uh, sit back down, relax. Uh, then the other thing I always recommend doing that I'm about to do, I normally do it earlier than this. Uh, as soon as you start the flight, I do change my phone time to the local time that we're flying to so i am going to change it i think it comes up as miami on the iphone i'm going to change it so i adjust to the time zone uh, a little bit quicker i always recommend that at the start of the flight just change it so in, instead of looking at english time all the time on the flight start looking at the american time you'll adjust a lot faster but yeah i'm going to go and have a little refresh i think in the toilets So we're just going to catch up with Laura, I feel really refreshed after that, I've changed into my shorts as well so I feel really good. Current time in Orlando is 12.22, so we're going to be landing nicely in the afternoon Laura. Are you are you thinking like straight to Universal like I am? We'll see, I mean we've got to get through, we've got to get through in McRae, I'm not going to get too ahead of myself. Stage 4 and 5 are getting through immigration which can be a long wait and also picking up the car etc successfully. After that, we're you know we're pretty pretty good to go, you know. Got my annual pass. <laughs> Are you gonna go and do what I did? I feel so much more. It's like what you get in first class, 
but we favour the cheapest ticket. And the Bring your own stuff with you. You can do exactly what they do up in first class. Just bring your own. I feel really refreshed. And I would have recommend it. You just refresh your mouth and everything. You've been on the go since been on the go since five a.m. It's uh, it's nice to refresh and chill. Laura is currently watching Harry Potter, just like I did. Get yourself in the mood. What are you thinking? A, a cheeky, uh, cheeky magical adventure, Lisa? Might do the lines all too long here. Cheeky velocity coaster. As Despicable 3 say, a cheeky spidey. Oh, yeah. Let's see. Let's see what happens. You never know. Well, let's we'll see how we get on with uh, stage four and five first. Okay, so the little afternoon tea has arrived. We're not, I'm not really into this thing. I'm not, I won't be really eating much of it. You've got a scone there, sandwiches, and a little lemon and elderflower cake thing. Laura's has arrived as well. We never, it's never good for you, this section, is it? But it's, it doesn't, I've got to admit, I, I wouldn't eat it. It's it's a banana spiced banana, vegan and gluten free, weird sandwich looking thing. But as Laura keeps saying, they're lumping gluten free in with vegan. So everything that's coming is like be, they're just lumping them together. Laura won't be having any of that because it just does not look good. Mine looks all right, but I'm just not into all the sandwiches and stuff. I don't want to eat now anyway, to be honest. I'd rather save myself and get something in a park or something and eat a bit later on. The, the scone's nice and warm and things, but I'm just not into scones and tea and all that at this time. I said to the next 10 minutes or so, uh, just crossing over into Florida's airspace, expected to land in the northerly direction. Uh, we are looking at touching down at uh, 25 past two local time. It's just coming up to uh, five to two now. Uh, the weather, I'm sure you all keep to know, absolutely beautiful day. It's 27 degrees Celsius, which is 80 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, light northerly winds uh, up to about 20 miles an hour and clear skies. Should be some uh, beautiful views on the way in. I'd just like to take this opportunity to thank you for flying with Virgin Atlantic. If you're staying in uh, Florida, please have a fantastic time. Feel the American heat and the American smell already. So you can see the Aer Lingus just coming in, so we've been lucky there. We've beaten the Aer Lingus. There's another whole load from Manchester. So thankfully, our immigration won't be too busy. We'll uh, catch up with you once we're uh, hopefully all through. And you know you've made it when you're at this first ride of the trip. This is what you think about when you get up in the morning. Is getting here, the smell, the heat, getting on this monorail, being welcomed by Buddy Dyer. Is that his name? Someone Dyer. Orlando Mayor Buddy Dyer, I think it is. Yeah, yeah. See. Oh, we've had we've had such good luck. We've literally just come through um, passport control there in literally two minutes. It was completely empty. And then we've just walked straight past everyone waiting for their luggage and we're going to be on one of the first trams across and then we're going to go and pick up the rental car but you know you're here when you hit this spot but it's so so lucky made up with that journey's been so far touch wood phenomenal really we literally got off the plane i think 10 minutes ago literally 10 minutes ago what time is it now 10 to 3. 10 to 3. we landed at half past so unbelievable luck so far and uh, so far so good it's, everyone was just we just walked past everyone starting to wait for the bags didn't we and then lucky with the Aer Lingus coming in five minutes after us I wouldn't like to be on the back of that Aer Lingus unfortunately if anyone's watching who's on that Aer Lingus I feel for you That smell, Laura. Oh, it's got smell. that Florida aircon monorail smell. Oh, I'm buzzing here. 
shuttle will be departing momentarily for the main terminal. You will be arriving on the third level of the main terminal building. Baggage plane is on level two. Hello, well, this is one item here, buddy. You're arrested in Central Florida. What a welcome. You're visiting our Welcome to the city. We want to assure you the health and well being of our top car. Not only our world class three parts of attraction hall, but all of our restaurants and retail establishments. Of course, our parks are open. So we're glad that you are here. We hope that you enjoy and have a There's so many points on this journey where you feel like you've made it. You feel like you've made it on the monorail. You feel like you've made it now, once you see that American flag in this section. Is that Universal and the Universal and Disney shop now. That's a nice new shop, the Disney one. Uh, we're going to be going down here to go and pick up our car. And there is another point where you feel like you've arrived. And that is when you step out them doors. Oh boy. So if you are picking up a car, you just do the same route as we're doing now. You've got to come down two sets of elevators. There's another elevator here. And uh, you can either get the lift or you can just go down this one here. There is two all the way down to the ground floor, which is where your car rental desks are. So if you follow our exact route, you can't go wrong, really. Yeah. But now so far, I've got to say, the, the no suitcase has been worth it. We'll be penalised not being able to bring gifts back and things, but right now, you know, it's it's three o'clock and we're now, you know, heading to the car rental desk. To show you the time as well, currently 10 past three and we're through. We've got our car rental all booked in. Literally just got to go and pick up the car. But it's so, so fast doing it this way. Being first off the plane made a huge difference as well. There was four flights due in from Manchester all within the next hour. So we've done really well. They gave us a nice free upgrade, Laura. Oh, yeah. yeah, the one was absolutely lovely. I cannot fault Alamo. Perfect. And this is the bit right now that is the biggest feels for me. You can feel the humid. You can smell the humid. Oh yeah, it's, uh, we're going to quickly run across. We've got five seconds. But oh, this section right here, this is it. I can smell it, feel it. Oh, got to get this jumper off. But that right there for me is the biggest feel coming out of them doors across to the car rental is the biggest feel for me. The monorail etc is great but let me know in the comments what is yours. Is it the monorail? Picking up your bags? I think a lot of people will agree. Got to be that right there. Laura, I'm a little bit freaked out because this is sort of just becoming really meant to be. This is the new version of the car we had last time in black as well. I'm getting a little bit, I'm getting a little bit like is something going on here? This is the exact same car, but new. I know, well, very similar kicks. Looks like the new version almost. I think this could be the one. If it's clean, it is clean, isn't it? This could be the one. I'm just gonna check the other cars first, but it's weird, it's, it's another black Nissan. And it's the first one we've come to. The rest aren't mid-size. And it's got an unusual number plate from another place as well. Like the last one did. Definitely going for this one. The other option is... A, do you know what the other option is, Laura? A Chevrolet. The same as the option last time. <laughs> oh, yeah, this is definitely... These Nissans are so comfortable to drive. So while Laura loads up, I'm just going to quickly do what I always do. And I'll stay on with you. Just go round it with your phone or your camera, just identifying that there's no major damages on it. You know, you can see the number plate, plate is bent here. You just go round everything just to check there's nothing major on it. Then if, any, if they do come back and say, oh, you've done this, you've done that, you've got a record of it on your phone from when you picked it up. You see a bit here, so a little bit of grease. I'm not bothered, this is not perfect. Um, but I'm really not worried. I'm absolutely buzzing right now. Buzzing. These Nissans are lovely to drive. The last one we had was a Nissan, uh, similar to a Nissan Qashqai. Same color and everything. Very similar size to this. 
I'm there. I'm absolutely made up with the timing we've made. How's it going, Laura? Oh, Laura's getting her clothes ready to change. Are we going somewhere, are we, eh? So, we've uh, locked everything away in the boot for now. Of course, I have just grabbed out my annual pass and a few dollars. Uh, the plan is we are going to go straight to Universal, I think. So we don't want to touch the boot. We are taking a little bit of a risk leaving our bags in the boot. Um, but I think we'll be safe. There's nothing in there. We're keeping our passports with us. Uh, but we've got everything out of the boot now. So that if anyone does watch us park or anything, we're not even going to touch the boot. We're well, getting a little hand sanitizer out ready. I'm going to familiarise myself with the car next. <clears throat> Always recommend doing this. Get yourself all set up first. Check your mirrors, etc. Before you uh, make any moves. For information, I don't go for the fuel policy. So it's full tank now. And I will bring it back on full as well. I'm going to connect the phone. Uh, we've got the uh, GPS on on Laura's phone to get us to Universal. <laughs> Believe it or not, we're heading straight there. We'll, we'll check into the accommodation later. We're going to waste no time with the progress we've made. We are going straight for it. So, in case some of you didn't know, I am an annual pass preferred holder and I've been waiting to do this for months. I'll be with you guys. No problem. Been waiting to use this bad boy oh, for a good while. You're excited. Can you, can you, do you get free parking with yours, Laura? Sure, I don't need free parking to drive. Do you get free parking? Hello. Hi, uh, annual pass. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, that felt good. That felt good. Oh, feels good to be here. I can't believe we're here. It's not even four o'clock. Not even four o'clock. We're here, and uh, who knows? We might not even get any rides. I've not even looked at wait times. Nothing. As long as but, we're here, uh, we're here. We're gonna see what happens. We might have a little slushy. We'll have a <gasps> bit of I see. bit of food. But the way our looks going, I mean, I can see it, you know, Velocicoaster Coaster being a five minute wait. Hello. The way our looks been today. Well, we're parked in King Kong on the ground floor. I've not parked in here for a long time. So it's either going to be busy or who knows. I'm, I don't, I'm, at this point, I'm not even bothered. Well, if you said to me at the start of the day, we'd be on the moving walkway by 10 to 4 at Universal. No. I'd have said, nah. With a free upgrade on the car, an amazing flight on a brand new plane with empty MC. seats. The moving walkway Absolutely. Oh. Listening to that. Please, watch your oh. That feeling of being an annual pass holder, you know. <laughs> Even if we don't do any rides, I'm just happy to be here right now and have a wander around. I'm going to get straight on the app. See which park looks the sort of busiest with the wait times, and we'll just see how it goes. It's uh, for all. It's like amazing being here. Amazing. Don't forget, we've come all the way from Tenerife, so it's a long way to come. So for us, it's like we're not going to waste time. We're going to get straight in there, start enjoying the atmosphere. logged into the app and it's not as busy as we thought it was going to be it's a 45 minute for velocity coaster Which is about 20 odd minutes for rocket it's looking like a really nice look you cannot beat this look at it clear blue skies and i've got to say if you're watching you're not always going to get a travel day like this we have been extremely lucky once again i mean we were lucky last time i don't know a few people get very unlucky with their travel days and get delayed but if you do manage to do this savour it because we're extremely lucky to be here already when there's people still you know stood in the queue at immigration so we're not taking it for granted at all and uh, we are absolutely made up with our luck today look at that for a view
I can honestly get, I'm, you're probably sick of hearing it, but the feeling of being back here is uh, so special, isn't it? The smell, I'm, the minute we've come in, I'm really feeling the heat now. The, the heat seems to have gone up a few notches. 35 minute wait for Minions, not bad at all. I think our first ride might actually be, uh, we come in with absolutely no panic. I might do Rocket as a first ride. And then uh, we'll maybe head over. We might even catch the train back across to Islands of Adventure. We're, we're completely open, aren't we? Yeah. Just loving it. Bit of entertainment going on here. <laughs> we got it, we got it! <laughs> she, yeah, straight in, straight in the action. It's okay. Y'all don't panic. It's all right. <laughs> Getting it in the bin. <laughs> So, I mean, you're straight in the atmosphere, aren't you? Straight into it. The feels are unreal. And the music in the background as well does help, you know. And there she is. I think this could be on number one. Let's see how long the wait line is. Well, we are back. What an epic way to start the trip. Rocket, 25 minutes. It waited about 15 minutes. I went for Stronger. Really good pump up song that is. Kanye West stronger. Yeah. One way to start the right one. Yeah, it does. We did Otten Towers recently, and all the, a lot of the rides were great, especially those big seven. But what you really notice is the length straight away. You've got the length of the ride. What an epic way to start all that is. We literally came out the airport half an hour, an hour and a half ago. We've just done Rocket already. Are we going to get an icy now? Have a wander. Just take it all in. Enjoy that. It is stronger, really pumps oh, it, doesn't no. it? Yeah, I do like that. Well, there's only one thing left to do, Laura, and that's cheers. Blue ice seas. Stunning, stunning weather. We'll take a wander along uh, towards where the Hogwarts train is, might get the train across to like Islands of Adventure. So we're just in the queue line to get the Hogwarts Express across to Islands of Adventure. Uh, it looks like the wait times in Islands of Adventure are a little bit quieter than here, doesn't it? So we're gonna battle through this queue and get the train across. I will record on the train as best as I can. I'm not gonna ruin it for anyone. It is quite a dark sort of thing, isn't it? Uh, in terms of lighting and things, but I'll do my best to get some shots for you. Hogwarts. Leaving you there. Cabin A, Cabin A, Thank you. Cabin A. The theming on this is amazing. Look at this. Morning, can you conjure up some pumpkin pasties? Oh, this is the first of the five principal exceptions to Gap's law of elemental transfiguration. So a lot of the wait times are creeping up a little bit now. We're gonna have a little look to see what velocity coasters on. And then we'll sort of head towards the exit. 45 for Velocity Coaster, what do you think, Laura? Maybe go for it with this one. I think we'll try and do this one. And if we do wait 45, we'll just make this maybe the last one of the day or something. Can't beat Velocity Coaster. To get this done, first night would be uh, amazing. So 
we're gonna go for it with velocity coaster see if we can get this done this line does move 45 minutes we will uh see you when we come off i think i can film a few bits in the queue line but that's it again we have to put everything in a locker i've missed this ride Well, that was absolutely amazing, money. Well worth the wait. Uh, we're going to probably start to head towards food now. We're thinking maybe bread box. Just a sandwich or something for dinner. But so good that ride, so good. It's a um, mad sat and rocket at the same similar over in the East Street, so shoulder East Street. Yeah. Oh, it's, it's just incredible. insane. The amount of time you're upside down, the speed of it, everything. In and out. Amazing. amazing. To get it done on the first day as well. Yeah. So we're food time now, thinking maybe bread box. Yeah, well, uh, we will you'll find out. Bread box, and I got a Philly cheese steak. That is it. One of the three breads and some chips, and we got two Powerade. Now I will say the price it was really expensive. So we'll see how it tastes. But it was nearly thirty dollars. So I wouldn't be in a hurry to spend that much again for just this. But Andrew's just getting a hot dog, and we all see what it's like. So I've got my footlong hot dog. Nice and easy dinner. Laura's sandwich is nice, not worth $30 though, I don't know what happened there. Won't we'll be going back. I'm gonna eat my hot dog and then we'll get moving. There was a woman in the line, wasn't happy. Apparently I would, I'd, I'd skip the queue or something. They gave me my food before giving her hairs. <laughs> Okay, so that is going to conclude our epic travel day. It was what an epic day it's been. Yeah. Uh, we're going to finish it off here. We're going to go and check into the accommodation, which will be in tomorrow's vlog. If you have enjoyed this one, it has been monstrous. Uh, please do give it a thumbs up. I'm going to get it edited and try and get it out tomorrow. We are going to be vlogging every single day. I'm going to be trying to get a vlog up every single day if I can. We will be doing live streams as well. So if you're not already subscribed, make sure you do hit the subscribe button so you know when all that's going on. Uh, do drop your comments down below. Would you be able to handle an epic travel day like this? I mean, I'm struggling now. Like straight to a park. Let me know your thoughts on that one. Make sure you follow us both on Instagram as well. We've been posting as we've gone around tonight. We will keep posting on the stories as well. So uh, do give us both a follow. Uh, but for now, we're going to get back home and get to bed. Uh, and you'll get to see the accommodation tomorrow. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Stride on. And uh, see you tomorrow for another busy day.